Are you in love with football? And what about sports betting? Do you want to earn really big money from it? Experts of BetFact prepare dozens of solid and safe predictions with high odds every day, so you can win a lot and stably. Just sign up through the link in the description and punish your bookie. the final table the uh, group G table Belgium win it three wins out of three England finishing in second uh, the Tunisia Panama match is still ongoing they started a couple of minutes after our game Tunisia have come from behind to lead 2-1 as you can see that would be their first victory of the World Cup in their final game and as George mentioned it means it's Belgium Japan on Monday England Colombia on Tuesday so, uh, Richie, just I suppose to pick up on what George said there, the Belgian reserves better than the English reserves, yeah? It's very difficult to come up with any real assessment of these two teams' opportunities or potential in the rest of the tournament based on what we show tonight because they're not the best teams uh, that either manager can pick and we're not even sure what the level of motivation within either camp or either manager was to, to go all out and win this game. Um, I think there was a the right result. I think Belgium had a moment of quality in the second half, which England lacked. Wasn't great to watch at times. Uh, the pace of it was a bit slow. It did lack an intensity, mind you. I'm still. Well, I think Eamon's going to talk about it. I don't know how Fellaini avoided a booking. There was a good few challenges from him. Very robust in his in his challenges, quite a lot. But overall, a really, really well done job by England in this group stage. This is, you know, a, a luxury situation to be in where it doesn't really matter that they lost the final group game. They could play all the reserves, even Welbeck gone on in the second half. So every team, every outfield player now has been on the pitch. So they should be very satisfied with how they got on in the group and I'm pleased with the draw they got now. How will Southgate react to this, Eamon? Well, he'll say that we did our best mm -hmm. and, you know, he can say that honestly. Uh, I think the question is how the Belgians and their coach Martinez feel uh, about making a date uh, on Tinder with Brazil. Uh, they wouldn't swipe right for that one. So uh, they're going to have to beat uh, Japan, of course, uh, and that's not a formality. In fact, it's a banana skin. Uh, but then they face uh, Brazil. England go now uh, to play Colombia, uh, possibly the winner then of Sweden and Switzerland. Uh, and then um, I'm not sure, but I. Well, the other side of that is Spain, Russia, Croatia, Denmark. Yeah. So, so that's the side. It's still high-quality teams, but the, yeah, but the you, top half of the draw is England, a minefield. England could conceivably get to the semi-final or even the final in this half of the draw. Uh, they've certainly, by losing tonight, um, it's, the draw works out very strongly in their favour. Of the 2018 World Cup, Yanazai's goal is something he'll remember for a long, long time. We look at that in due course. But what was your take on this evening's events, Liam? Uh, well, I have to hold my hands up and say, you know, uh, I got it wrong about Belgium. I thought they were excellent tonight, uh, technically miles ahead of England, particularly in midfield, uh, where uh, Dembélé showed how a midfield player should play. He was getting on the ball, others, uh, his passes were positive. And Fellaini had a really good game as well, in, in a creative sense. But compared to the England three in the middle of the park, uh, they were poor, they were giving the ball away, um, uh, Dyer would only go backwards or sideways, he, he, never, he never played a telling pass. And, you know, if you're looking at things that you might have at your disposal to change a game, well, Belgium will look at their reserves and say, well, we have some, we have some good players yeah. there. Uh, Thorgan Hazard had a, had a very good game. Yanazai was, uh, was brilliant for the goal. Uh, so, I think uh, Martinez has made a statement tonight. He's saying, I have the squad to go all the way. And we've always been saying about Belgium, the players that they have at their disposal is quite incredible, the talent that they have. And they've got backup now, in my opinion. They've got real good backup. Uh, so, uh, well done to them. Uh, they deserve to top the group. England, I'd be a little bit worried if they have to change or have to introduce creativity in that midfield, 
They just don't have it because they've got Henderson in there yeah. and Henderson is a, a strong personality and he works hard and he's having a good tournament. But where is he going to get uh, assistance from other players? For me, Loftus-Cheek, no, Delph, no, and particularly Dyer, no. Mm. Well, is that why he's gone, Richie, for this system in the first place, the 3-5-2 the, the thing? Because he knows he doesn't have creativity like it, Henderson is a good player doing what he does but he's not gonna he's not parallel and I think sometimes he can be quite exposed in that middle of the park in that England team because Ali um, is a threat going forward I don't think he's great defensively Lingard likewise so when he plays either when those two play either side of him against a better team Lee made the point we can praise what we've seen of England go back to the qualifiers yeah. Some of the pre-tournament friendlies, the opening two games, caveat being they're against really poor teams. A, a, a better team, and I think Belgium tonight were decent, Belgium's first team would be a hell of a lot higher level. So I think in the middle of the park defensively, I think England are a little bit vulnerable. And all this talk about plotting, the, I, I don't know what the reaction is among the English media or the supporters or within the dressing room about the favourability of the draw now. They just need to focus on Colombia and nothing else. This is a country which has had, I think, six knockout victories, six victories in knockout stages yeah. of tournaments since 1966. Jump in any way beyond that game and they make themselves look daft. I don't think they're good enough. I know exactly what you're saying, but they, they, the English media are going to jump beyond what's coming next. Well, they will, I think. They'll be encouraged uh, to believe. Stop it, you're leaving Har Harry Kane. Are you and, jumping? <laughs> well, no, no, I, think, I'm I'm, I would say that England uh, benefit more than... Of course, yeah. Belgium from the result tonight mm. and I think the difference is significant uh, so therefore England have a better chance of going further in the tournament if England get to the semi-final uh, there'll be an open top bus and they'll be in Buckingham Palace and all the stuff it would be regarded as a heroic achievement mm. now that route is clear and it's by no means daunting is it? No, particularly the... Well, you know, the next game, uh, they should beat Colombia, but looking at the lack of technical ability yeah, yeah. Uh, in, in, the, in the midfield as well, you know, the Colombians could easily dominate possession. Yeah, I just have to say, Liam, it's Colombia without James. Well, we're not... Mm. We, we, we think. We think, He limped yeah. off with what looked yeah, like a massive strain today. Yeah, well, that's a big... And the coach no, wouldn't no. give an, a, an yeah. update. Peckerman well, said If, if, if it, it was the bad. Colombia that beat Poland last weekend, mm. they looked very... Very good indeed, and they certainly are a determined team, and they have other players, but still, you've got to factor in Harry Kane, mm. Sterling, uh, Lingard, the way he's playing at the moment, the set-piece power, yeah. and a better, uh, you know, Trippier, uh, uh, maybe Rose keeps keeping his place, Ahead but they, young, yeah. uh, they have a route now that's clear, and by no means beyond them, in my opinion. Okay, very good. Yeah, Liam, he's not given a huge amount away there. He's certainly not, not said, we've lost the game, I'm elated. No, he's, he's not unhappy either. No. That came across loud and clear. You know, he, he thinks now uh, we can beat Colombia with my uh, first 11 um, and maybe have a, you know, a, another match they could win and all of a sudden they're in the semi-final. Um, but, you know, his first team still haven't played anybody, you yeah. know. And I think against Colombia we'll be able to judge England whether they can go all the way or whether they can go to a semi-final. Because now this is the business end. This is gone. It was an easy group to get out of, wasn't it? Let's be fair. Uh, Panama, Tunisia, you would have picked Belgium and England all day long to get out of that group. Um, so uh, he's happy. I think he's happy. Uh, and as he said, he's preserved all his, all his first picks and... Uh, you know, they've got a big chance now of getting to the semi-final if they play well, but I would be worried about the lack of creativity yeah. even in the midfield with his first team. Yeah, it's something we're going to look at in a moment or two, but let's have a look at this because it's worth in, in enjoying again as a, as a special piece of skill from, from Yanazai, a, a player that so many people over here will know about, incredible talent. He's still only 23. He made a hell of an impact when he burst onto the scene. In the Premier League, he's gone a little bit off the radar for a lot of fans in the last little while. But this it's a really, really well taken goal. You can just see he just drifts outside the box. It's poor defensively. I don't think you'd be happy with the, the contributions of Rose here, who's the nearest player to Yanazai or Delft. 
But see the reaction of both players here. Rose, I think, has got to close down, first of all, quicker. And if he can't do that, he's got to throw himself to make sure the shot doesn't get past him. Block, he doesn't. He kind of half turns his back. Then you look at Delph, who's next to him, does likewise. I don't know what kind of movement that is. I don't know where you would coach a defender to ever do that up against a player but wonderful skill right in the top corner I don't think the goalkeeper had an opportunity to do anything about it and that was the match winner he's at Real Sociedad now it was a fantastic bit of skill from Yanazai Liam let's let's focus in on this lack of creativity with England yeah well you know it's their second team and uh, the, but the lads coming in demonstrated to me that uh, if, if he wants to change things, if he's up against things as the, as the game goes, uh, as the competition goes Delph. on, he's not going to be able to count on the likes of Fabian Delft, uh, uh, Loftus-Cheek, uh, there he is losing the ball, um, Delft lost the ball earlier, this is Delft again. You know, n none of the Belgian midfield players did anything like that. They kept possession, they brought their teammates into it. There's Loftus Cheek again in tight areas, not good enough, not skillful enough, and Belgium are breaking at them. Um